Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 21st of November with me Patrick Munley. Thanksgiving in the US means a holiday shortened trading week with the focus set to remain on the outlook for Federal Reserve policy. Market pricing has switched markedly since the surprising soft October CPI print but Federal Reserve officials continue to suggest there is more work to be done to ensure the inflation front is defeated. Indeed, markets continue to hear comments suggesting the risk of doing too little outweighs the consequences of doing too much in terms of interest rate increases. Expect more on that from Fed speakers this week. Data-wise, looking at ongoing weakness in housing data, but durable goods orders should rise given firm Boeing aircraft orders. Nonetheless, it's doubtful this will be market moving in any meaningful way. The November jobs report on December 2nd and November CPI print on 13th of December are really the big releases ahead of the holiday season. From a technical perspective, moving to the charts here, uh, looking for the dollar index to continue its corrective move here. I'm looking for a test up into this 107.70 uh, trend channel resistance, which are bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, targeting a move down to our next objective at 104.40. So at this stage, take a close back through 108.50 to suggest a deeper corrective move to play out up then to test the 109.20 to 109.40 area. Moving to the Eurozone and in terms of data this week uh, kicks off on Tuesday November consumer confidence last time out negative 27.6 consumers are feeling the heat from inflation and rates. Heading into Wednesday, we get the S&P Global Manufacturing PMI, 46.4 last read. And we also get Services PMI, 48.6 last read. A broad-based weakness in demand beginning to really take hold, leaving manufacturing and services data likely in a very fragile state. And that concludes, oh sorry, no, on Thursday actually we have November EFO Business Climate Survey out of Germany. Uh, last time out, 84.3. Looking for a positive 85 here. Outlook highly uncertain though, and set to remain that way for some time. From a technical perspective, obviously the euro dollar inverse pattern to uh, the dollar index here. So we're looking for a corrective move to play out a test of 102.50. Watch the bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side. Next upside objective being into that uh, weekly trend line resistance here coming in just above the 106 handle. At this stage, any close back through trend channel support and through the 102 handle, we'll see us trade down back into the uh, prior double top resistance there, 10090s. Moving to the UK with that all important uh, autumn uh, fiscal statement out of the way. Um, key takeaways being from that Wharton statement was that, ju that much of the anticipated fiscal pain has been pushed back until, unsurprisingly, after the next election. Uh, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has calculated that common financial markets and the announcements of certain tax rises means he can push back some of the tougher spending decisions without sparking a fresh crisis of confidence in UK assets. No doubt the Treasury is banking on less aggressive Bank of England rates uh, to lower future debt interest projections in scope to water down some of the cuts from uh, further down the line. With the fiscal event out of the way, obviously attention turns back to the economic data, which is clearly deteriorating in the UK. Next week's PMIs are likely to re-emphasize that more companies are seeing conditions worsen than improve right now. The latest sign that a recession is coming, if we are already not in one in the UK. There are also the question of whether the Bank of England will pivot back to 50 basis point rate hike in December. Markets think it will. Uh, despite some mildly hawkish inflation data last week, uh, we'll also hear from a couple of rate setters in the week ahead to help shape expectations ahead of that meeting in a few weeks' time. From a technical perspective, uh, sterling dollar also in a corrective mode here. So whilst we hold resistance at this 119.50 area, I'm looking for a move down into this internal trend channel support and the equality objective. 11730s from there, we watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, targeting a move up to our equality objective at 12060. At this stage, any break of 117 will open a deeper corrective move back down to test 11640s as the next downside objective. And moving to Japan, 
terms of data there next week, it's uh, it's looking a little bit light. In actually only get uh, real data on Thursday. Uh, we get the services and manufacturing PMIs, 53.2 and 50.7, last time out respectively. Easing of COVID-19 restrictions has been positive, but softening demand conditions are a key risk ahead for the Japanese economy. From a technical perspective, uh, dollar yen continues its correction after uh, trading into our target zone at the uh, 138 level. So we're now looking for a three-wave corrective move to target a test of 140, 140s. From there, watch for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, targeting a move down into the 136 area, which is the, uh, sorry, 135.80s, which is the yearly S3. And we have the high volume node just below 135.17s. At this stage, we'd really need to see a close back through the trend channel resistance on the four hour time frame coming in uh, 143. 350s to suggest they de the correction could in fact be over and then we'd be targeting move up to the high volume node 14720 but for now focus still on the downside moving to the Aussie dollar and uh, in terms of data next week uh, RBA governor Lowe is speaking on Tuesday price stability the supply side and prosperity at uh, the conference in Sydney and then in terms of uh, data, that uh, we don't really get any other tier one data out of uh, out of Australia next week. I would say next Sunday we get Chinese uh, October industrial production profits. Uh, policy support will aid profit growth there into 2023. And that Chinese data tends to feed into uh, pricing in terms of the Aussie dollar as a uh, as a proxy. From a technical perspective, looking for the Aussie dollar to complete a Corrective move now. Let's just uh, draw in some targets. So whilst we hold the swing high here, 67.30s, we look for a test of 66.20s. Also have that trend line support coming there. So from there, watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, looking for a break back through that pivot at 67.30s, and then on to our next upside objective, which is the 68.87. And just before we wrap things up, let's check in with the weekend risk barometer. Bitcoin obviously still having a very torrid time of things here with FTX debacle continuing to play out. From a technical perspective, if we can hold trendline support here, just above 16,000, we've got an equality objective on the upside at 18,300. Any loss of the 15,700 support area, and we can start to think about a move down to that 15,000 level as the next downside objective. Remember, we still have that equality objective, 12,185, as, uh, as the ultimate target for this move. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.